All right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder with the Angry Nerd. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Tier 1 Rank 1 Yak 1. Now, the Yak 1, or Yakolov at Yak 1, was a World War II Soviet fighter aircraft produced from early 1940. It was a single seat monoplane with a composite structure and wooden wings. Prior to World War II, Yakolov was best known for building light sports aircraft. His Yak-4 light bomber impressed the Soviet government enough to order the OKB to design a new fighter with the Kilmov M106 V12 liquid-cooled engine. Formal specifications released on 29 July 1939 called for two prototypes. The I-26-1 with a top speed of 385 miles per hour at 6,000 meters, a combat range of 375 miles, and a climb to 10,000 meters of under 11 minutes with an armament of two 7.62 millimeter Shikos machine guns and one 12.7 millimeter heavy machine gun. The other prototype, the I-26-2 with a turbocharged M106 engine with a top speed of 404 miles per hour at 10,000 meters and an armament of two 7.62 millimeter Shikos machine guns. The design took full advantage of Yakolov's OKB's experience with sport aircraft and promised agility as well as a high top speed. Since the M106 engine was delayed, the design was changed to incorporate the Kilmov M105 P V12 engine with a 20 millimeter Shavak cannon in the V of the engine block. The I-26-1 first flew on 13 January 1940 and the I-26 was ordered into production under the name Yak-1 on 19 February 1940. A mere month after the I-26 first made its maiden flight. Technical issues with sub-assemblies provided by different suppliers raised the I-26-2's weight by 400 kilograms or 882 pounds above projected figures, which restricted the airframe to only 4.4 Gs while overheating oil was still a problem. Many defects caused the I-26-2 to fail government testing in 1940. Fortunately for Yakolov, its competitors, the I-200 Future MiG-3 and the I-103, the Future Lag-3, also failed testing. Requ requested improvements were incorporated into an I-26-3, which was delivered for testing on 13 October 1940. Although it passed government trials on 9 December 1940, the aircraft was still very much unfinished with unresolved engine problems. All right, so let's discuss the differences between the Yak-1 and the Yak-1B. Now I have placed a Yak-1B and a Yak-7B in the lineup here. So let's take a look at the Yak-1 from the side. And let's take a look at the Yak-1B. Now the Yak-1B was an improvement over the original Yak. It introduced a new KM-105PF engine which had better low altitude performance. 
and improved engine cooling. It had a new bubble canopy. You can see the original Yak-1 and the 1B has the bubble canopy. It has a, oh, stop that, has a lower fuselage than the Yak-1 and increased armor. The Yak-1B also had a new control stick based on the Messerschmitt BF-109 design, had a new gun sight, and an airtight fuselage. It also incorporated a retractable um, tail wheel. Um, the 7.62 millimeter machine guns on the original Yak-1 were replaced with one 12.7 millimeter heavy machine gun to augment the 20 millimeter cannon. The Yak-1B also incorporated electrical and pneumatic firing of the weapons instead of the mechanical firing of the original Yak-1. Now the B was an unofficial uh, designation and after October 1942 all Yak-1s were built to this standard. But in my opinion the Yak-1, the original one here, more closely resembles the Yak-7. So, let's uh, drop these out of the line up here. Alright. Now in More Thunder here, you can start researching this Yak-1 uh, from your reserve aircraft. Um, it's just to the left. And it is a rank one with a battle rating of 2.0 it has a max speed of 371 miles per hour with a turn time of 17.4 seconds it comes equipped with one 20 millimeter Shavak cannon with 110 rounds and two 7.62 millimeter Shakas machine guns with 1200 and 40 rounds. Now I mentioned that uh, turn time of 17.4 seconds. Uh, in my opinion I am liking this Yak-1 a whole lot better than the lag threes. When you put those lags into a really tight turn they seem to bounce a little bit as you're turning but this Yak-1 seems to handle a whole lot better than the lag does and it has more uh, hitting power than the early MiGs so um, yeah I'm really liking this Yak-1 as my favorite tier uh, 1 fighter so why don't we um, queue up a game and uh, see what we can do with the Yakolov Yak-1. Alright, we picked up Gorge Light Vehicles. It's a ground strike map. Okay, okay. We have 7.62 with stealth and omnipurpose 20 millimeter. I hate these cloudy maps. See anything. See if we can get up above 
clouds here and see what we can find. That was the roll rate. I did it real quick. Why are they? I don't understand why the new update is teaming me up with people. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. But hey, I'm assigned to a squad there. Okay, I've gotten up above the clouds. There's a lag three down below, an SB2M, an H6K, a P36. Uh, here comes the lag. Okay, so I did a little bit of barrel roll to dodge his fire. Let's come around on him. I should be able to come around on him. In my opinion, this yak's got better turning than the lag does. Taking me a little longer than expected, but I'll get in here in just a second. Yeah, all right, oh. a little bit more. There we go. All right. So there's an HE-111 over there, looks like a JU-87, maybe an SBD might be working on them. But, he's up here at my altitude, so I'm also going to shoot at him, I don't see. They don't seem to be bringing him down very easily. far away, but I don't have the speed to keep that climb up. I'm going to have to drop my nose, see if I can come up underneath him. Slowly catching him. About 190 miles per hour. I need to be above 200. I'd like to be about 225 or so before I start pulling up. go. Let's get a few shots off on him. Line him up. Easy. Here we go. Hit him. A bit more. Yes. Okay, we're reloading. Is there anything else up here to shoot at? I don't see anything and all of that cloud cover is keeping me from seeing down through it. So I'm going to have to drop down. See if I can... That, what is that? A BF-110 down here. I don't like those. They got lots of fire. I mean, I love flying them, but I don't like them like the enemy team having them and he got knocked out anyway. So let's see. Hope I don't run into a mountain. Let's head towards Oh a bow fighter. Did he get taken out? Or did he fly behind that hill? I don't know. But there is a KI-45 over here. Oh, and look. There's my unintentional teammate over here to my right. If one of us luck up and kill him while we're here together, we should pick up the teammate. Ward. See if I can get him here. He ain't coming by too fast. Oh, 
Oh, look behind me. What I got back there? Where'd they come from? Oh, he's gonna take some shots at me. busy in there for me. Somebody else is after me. He's in that biplane. He's going to be able to turn around and get on me here in kind of quickness, but I'm going to drop the nose. Run away. Because he should not be able to keep up with me. I got the speed advantage on him. And I'm going to circle around and keep this uh, hill or mountain between us in the meantime. So let's just come around this side and come back out on the other and see if we make another attack run on anything left in the uh, canyon there. Can't really see where I'm going. There's a lag way over here. Huh. What is that? AI 43, a lag, an I 16. Who is telling Charlie? It is the I 16. load my speed down too much. Probably should have just pulled straight up but I don't want to pull up. I'm just pulling up too because I could have been above him and gave him a good shot. I mean let's go, let's go. Get him, get him, get him. Here we go. All right, let's see what we can do with the results. Oh yeah, yeah. That'll work for me. Okay, so we did pick up a teamwork award. Bomber Rescuer, Shadow Strike times six, Wind Streak times five, Punisher, the best squad. Um, multi strike times two. Ground force rescuer. Fighter hunter. Final blow. Survivor. And terror of the sky. That's not a bad haul for one. <laughs> Was that a seven? Seven kill game. Let's take a little snapshot of this. Move my cursor out of the way. There you go. Okay, so yeah, we destroyed seven enemy aircraft. 29 hits, 99% battle activity. Research 18%. We got 29,733 silver lions. Of which about 10,026 were premium. Came in first place on the team. And look at there. The unintentional teammate came in second. Isn't that nice? Let's save this replay and get some intro and exit footage off of that. All right. So, in conclusion here, the Yak 1 in Tier 1, I, I, it's a beast in my opinion. 
it handles good and it's got that 20 millimeter cannon um, it can rip biplanes to shreds it has a speed advantage over them um, it has the turning advantage over the leg and the maneuverability and firepower advantage over those early MiGs like I was saying earlier so yeah I am really liking this uh, new Yak 1 here in tier 1 so I, I don't think you can go wrong if you want to put this in your lineup so I hope you enjoyed the video um, like it if you like it don't if you didn't subscribe if you would but as always thanks for watching nerd out